Uh, this is Father Peter Schneller, Jesuit, on the staff at America Magazine, and trying to open up a little bit of the Feast of the Epiphany, January 6th or the Sunday nearest to it, and that is one of my favorite feasts. The word itself, as you may know, means manifestation. When Jesus becomes manifest, not to the shepherds, but to the three wise men, who really stand for all of humanity, for the Gentiles. The painting I would like to talk about is by Hieronymus Bosch, um, mid-European, uh, painted, I believe, in uh, 1495. It's a very complex painting, and it may shock us as we go through some of the details in this painting. Probably we think of the Magi scene as something like that of the shepherds. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the shepherds coming to the stable. But Bosch puts a lot more in his painting. It's actually a triptych. On the left is St. Peter and the patron who helped the painting be, who gave money for the painting to be painted. On the right is St. Agnes. The centerpiece, of course, is the scene of the Epiphany. One thing to note, where is Joseph? Mary is there with the baby in her arms. The three kings or three wise men are there. If you look carefully on the left panel, Joseph is off to the side with a fire, washing, probably washing diapers, Joseph the worker. And actually that's what the scripture says, that they came and they found Mary and the child. But it's a complex scene. In the background are armies. There are two armies crossing over towards one another, and in the back is a third army, and behind that the city of Jerusalem. These would be the cohorts or the armies that came with the three kings. By the way, the three kings, in tradition, really stand for the three great areas of the world, Europe, Asia, and Africa. And I have a special fondness for the tall standing king, visitor, the Magi, who was often called Balthazar, and he is black, symbolizing he came from Africa to show the extent of God's salvation to the whole world. The scene, as you can see, takes place in a ramshackle barn, not a cave as with the shepherds, and not really a house. But inside the uh, barn is an ox you can see through one of the windows, and then onlookers looking out with quizzical looks, and, and also from the roof and from a tree. And most mysterious is the man at the doorway, almost uh, without any clothing except for a cloak, and with a very strange face. Some people interpret him as the Antichrist, coming to see what's going on with this birth of this baby. So it's not as peaceful as we think. There's a lot going on. But at the center, as it should be, is Jesus and Mary, the child. What does it mean for us? I think it really symbolizes our own search for the light, for the star. The star is barely visible in this particular uh, painting. But the search for the star, the journey to Jesus to find him, and then the giving of gifts. We traditionally have it, as it says in the scriptures, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But really what God wants at Christmas, as he gives himself to us, is the gift of ourselves. So that's really the way to celebrate uh, Epiphany, to see what happened with these three wise men who came from afar, how it was a scene of conflict, of disbelief, of wonder, amazement, perhaps even with the Antichrist present there, but they did come, they gave their gifts, and returned. They disappear after that, back to their own land. As T.S. Eliot says in his poet, poem, The Journey of the Magi, changed, utterly changed by their encounter with Jesus. This is Peter Schneller from America Magazine, wishing you a happy epiphany, feast of the manifestation of Jesus to the world. May we also manifest him by our words and deeds.